Hello, this is the CRT man here. Today I have the Indigo iMac G3, which is something you don't really see too much anymore on my channel because, well, there's not much on it. The Ruby has everything, but the Ruby is back to having silly problems and trying to work them out. So, yeah, in this video I'm going to show you uh, something I should have showed probably a long, long, long time ago. Back in my early days of the back in the early days of my channel, when I mostly made iMac G3 videos, and that is a graphing calculator in Mac OS 9. So yeah, this is um, this is really cool, and you, it's pretty much like it says, it's a graphing calculator. You type in some sort of graphing formation, and it graphs it for you. Let's see, graphing calculator 1.3, uh, made by these people. Don't really feel like reading out their names. Uh, let's see, this version's from 2000, and Graphing Calculator comes with Mac OS 9.2.2, so there's no, nothing else, it's, it's built in. Uh, it looks like the first one was, I guess, from about 1993, made by Waste Text Engine, that's funny. Let's see about credits. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's get to it. So, let's say I want to graph, I, I don't know, some sort of parabola or something. That's, oops. Uh, that that's the I hope you can see this. It looks kinda hard to see on camera actually. Uh I can't really remember too much graphing stuff. I'm gonna re just uh re redo it again because I kinda threw it off. Okay. So let's see here. Uh yeah, I really hope you can see this. And you know what, maybe I should put it in a bigger resolution since well, it's just it'd be easier to see. I mean, a smaller resolution. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. I want to type in, uh, for Prabla, I'd say, parentheses, X plus, uh, I don't know, 5, and then X plus 5. And then it graphs it for you. And if you can kind of see... There's a parabola, and you can make this smaller so it'd be easier to see. So maybe I should take it out the resolution. That was kind of a dumb idea, but yeah. Oops, too much crap in the way. Okay, so yeah, they. So hopefully you can see this. There's a big purple parabola there, and then let's say I want to make this x minus five or something. And you see the parabola moved way over here. And you can make this bigger or smaller, way, way smaller. And the whole thing about parabolas and stuff being infinite, if you learned in Algebra 2 and stuff, uh, it's true because on this graphing calculator, it just keeps going and going and going and going and expanding and expanding. Look, I'm all at the 320. So, yeah, this graphing calculator doesn't lie. Probably this is probably a really good tool for, I guess, math assignments if you want, just to double check your stuff if you're doing graphing. And uh, another cool one you could do is x squ uh, x squared. To put squared, you put you you shift six, which is the caret, and then it gives you the squared, and then you press the right arrow to go back to normal. X squared plus y squared. Which, for some reason, I forgot what that was. I swear it was some sort of circle or something. And you get this. Yeah. It's like a giant 3D version. You don't really get to see the graph too much, but it's really cool. Look at this thing. And you get spin it around. You get, uh, oh. You can make it like this. It looks like a telescope or something. Or you can make it really thin. And if you could do this, you could put it right on the screen. Oops. Yeah, it's a really cool tool. Educational and probably a little bit fun to mess with. Look at that, it's all purple. So yeah. I I just dis I discovered this back in oh uh, not discovered, but I first used it in I believe uh late 2011 when I first got the Ruby Iron G3 from school and yeah so and then let's see you could also do a similar one without the plus um, let's see 
x squared, y squared. I forgot a lot of my graphs already. Oops. See, I forgot to take it out of the exponent mode. I hope I'm not boring you guys to death. And check this one out. This one looks really weird. <laughs> I really hope you can see this crap. Brightness looks a little bit bad. I might have to turn that down. Boy. I wish it was easy to film with my webcam, but don't have any sort of normal camera, so. Yeah. There you go, right there. And I'm trying to think of one more thing. I don't know, let's try x cubed or something. Just mess around. I don't even know if that is a real equation or not. Who knows, it could be. I don't. I forgot how to do hyperbolas. Holy crap! Look at that. It's like in, that's weird. It does exist though. You need to spin it around like crazy. It's pretty sick. So there you have it. Uh, graphing calculator for Mac OS 9. Really cool program. You can save your stuff too. I've never done that. But yeah, so check it out if you have Mac OS 9. I'm pretty sure it's available on uh, what do you call it? Cheap Shaver and classic environment for Mac OS X Tiger. But yeah, this is on a real Mac OS 9 machine. And wish me luck on getting this thing back and up and running again. It's just it's been acting really silly. I got it I got it fixed not too long ago, but Microsoft Word started to act stupid and then I tried to fix it and kinda of made it worse. So now I'm doing it again. So enough about the Ruby and it's cool to see the indigo kinda of back in action again because I don't really make too many videos about it anymore, and if you guys remember back in January 2013, I said I actually ran out of videos. So there you have it, so thanks for watching.